For me and my team, it's it's deeper than athletics. We joined Boise State because they produce strong women and strong communities and great athletes. So to have this canceled on us without even being asked our thoughts or if we can fundraise ourselves, it's just devastating. We feel like we've been given up on. Personally, I did enter the transfer portal, but my heart wants to stay here. I, I have enrolled in grad school and um, want to be a coach, and I think this has given me the opportunity to kind of guide my life direction with what I want to do and who I want to impact. I have opportunities to go other places, but my heart's here with Boise State. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. When Boise State Director of Athletics Kurt Apsey met with the media last week, he opened up with a statement about the former baseball and swimming and diving programs over at Boise State. He said that the school remains supportive and involved in those that seek a transfer. As for the student athletes that remain, their scholarships will be honored, something he reiterated. They will also have access to academic advisors, athletic athletic trainers as well as athletic facilities. So where do the coaches and players of these former programs stand? Well, over two weeks after the decision was made, many of them haven't given up. That information reached the desk of Idaho Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan last week, and on Thursday, she invited members of both programs down to the state capitol. Well, it's not every day you get an invitation to come down to the state capitol and, and meet the Lieutenant Governor and her staff. What she preached in there, it meant a lot just because she provided some hope to us. This means everything. We've been asking for an opportunity just to talk and negotiate and it seems like she's the first person to kind of give us this opportunity. The virus isn't going away, it's still a pandemic. Uh, there's a lot of difficult decisions to make from all of our leadership, but the more, the more communication we have, the more dialogue we have, the more input that we have from everybody, uh, we might be able to do some things that we never thought we were capable of doing. This weekend, I reached out to McGeehan to further clarify her involvement. She said, quote, I got involved primarily because my door is always open and I listen to Idahoans. A constituent contacted me and told me about the situation. I asked to meet with the coach and some of the athletes. I contacted Dr. Trump because I wanted to learn more about the situation. I believe in listening to all of the sides involved in an issue.